One of the most persistent activists was Anthony Ashley, better known as the Earl of Shaftesbury. In July 1840, he recorded in his diary, anxious about the hopes and prospects of the Jewish people. Everything seems ripe for their return to Palestine. The way of the kings of the East is prepared. Could the five powers of the West be induced to guarantee the security of life and possessions to the Hebrew race? They would now flow back in rapidly augmenting numbers. Then by the blessing of God, I will prepare a document fortify it by all the evidence I can accumulate, and confiding to the wisdom and mercy of the Almighty, lay it before the Secretary of State for Foreign Affairs. It just so happened that the Secretary of State for Foreign Affairs, Lord Palmerston, was Shaftesbury's stepfather-in-law. Shaftesbury later wrote of a meeting he had with Palmerston. Dined with Palmerston. After dinner, left alone with him. Propounded my scheme, which seemed to strike his fancy. He asked some questions and readily promised to consider it. If the five great powers of the West How singular is the order of providence. Singular, that is, if estimated by man's ways. Palmerston has already been chosen by God to be an instrument of good to his ancient people. To do homage, as it were, to their inheritance and to recognize their rights without believing their destiny. Not all in one year, of course. And it seems he will do yet more. But though the motive be kind, it is not sound. I am forced to argue politically, financially, commercially. These considerations strike him home. He weeps not like his master over Jerusalem. Palmerston tells me he has already written to Lord Ponsonby to direct him to open an intercourse with the Rashid Pasha at Constantinople concerning the protection and encouragement of the Jews. This is a prelude to the antitype of the decree of Cyrus. 